Last episode truly did feel like a season finale, like a destroyer alert. Everybody gather in front and all the villagers and everybody NPCs, including helping out. But after we decimated them, darkness is going away. It felt like this is her one last mission with us for the memories. And now she's gone. What's going back home with the Dustiness family? Something is wrong with the dad, I think, as well, right? Let's find out today's episode. No! I thought they'd be like, no, darkness, come back. I'm so sorry. But it's like, bitch, you fucking left with this. I ain't taking this bullshit. Okay, she's watching us. A talking to for this runaway. This actually is one of the shortest titles. Actually, was this Konosuba the one where it had light novel length episode titles? It was a different anime, I think. No, Elf Pride. I think Elf Pride was the one with the ridiculously long like light novel, you know, titles. New products? Zell, Emperor Zell guys. <laughs> Same. What are you doing? Why are you following me? No! I don't want to pick another member! I want Darkness back! That was, that was very cute. I don't know, the whole... Oh, 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 oh. Who shall we recruit as a tank? Do we know any tanks? I don't think I know any, honestly. I want the Mohawk guy to join, but he's not even an adventurer. He's like an artisan wee basket weaver. <laughs> With higher union. She went too shuny. Bad reputation, huh? Don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. You fucked it up. This guy again. This guy's name is Dust. And according to some of the comments from last episode, apparently he's supposed to be a protagonist. In something else, I forget the exact explanation, but this guy's kind of important. Stalking. There's a spin-off of him? I see, that's the explanation. Dust is a protagonist in a separate spin-off series, okay. Oh! Sakabia's tickets! Uh, we gave him this in season one, now he's paying us back a lot more. How long? Oh, okay. Okay, Dust, he's pretty serious. Okay, I, I thought you were a completely pointless comedic gag side supporting NPC character, but hold up, he's getting a lot of scenes right now. Rin's getting confessed to. <laughs> Immediately, he said, You don't tear your stockings. Picture? <laughs> Wait, 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 uh, uh, in Megumin's spin-off story, Yunyun, I believe, when Megumin and Yunyun was here earlier before Kazuma was here, there was a character that was being extremely creepy asking for Yunyun's pictures of toes and shit, right? You remember that shit? Long time ago, not sure if you guys have seen the Megumin spin-off series, is this the same guy? Remember him? There was a super creepy guy. That Yunyun was so easy to get party members, and it's like, who could this really be? And it was like a really creepy dude, right? Yeah, it's, it's gotta be him. 
I I'm not sure if it's it's I it's, he sounds like him. I can't remember what he didn't he have like a mustache and kind of look nobleish. I I don't know. Wait, okay. <laughs> Incendiary? Oh! The scene of the crime. What do you guys see on the bed there? Oh no! Oh no! What do they do with Rin? Yeah, he was. No, he probably wanted her to wear this. This is not Rin's, and he just wanted to do it, but Rin ran away. Why are you taking your clothes off? Is he putting it on? Bro is packing. Bro is actually hung. Dust, I did not know you had game like that. What are we doing? So we're basically going to cross dress and definitely take some lewd sexy pictures between the boys just to give the other guys a trauma. Surely nothing else is going on here. Come on, come on, more emotion, more feeling. <laughs> Yo, why is he so good with these pictures? Hold up, this is a straight up model. Okay, I don't know about them. I don't know about this one, but. <laughs> Spread your legs and drop your hips. Let me get all that angles. This is not gay at all. Nope. This is just uh, two brothers uh, doing something to traumatize another guy. We definitely are not doing anything sus here. Spread your legs, Dust. Oh! <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Is there something you want me to... You, you, you need to tell me, Dust? I mean, if you roll like this, Zay, you look great like this. You can honestly probably make a killing off of selling OnlyFans content like this. Oh! My friend! It's over! It's over! Sorry, <laughs> uh, uh, Yeah. He's he's fine with it. He enjoys it. Look at how in awe he is of dust right now. It's a punishment. What are we doing? What? How did this happen? I think the noble actually enjoys dust cross dressing. What are we doing right now? Uh oh. You know him? Oh, 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 what is the implication here? I it's I, I really tried. I made a real effort. And then he shows up in his room dressed up like that. I thought the effort was for you. What is she implying? Made an effort to do what? She made an effort. That's the thing I'm missing. Is she saying that she wanted to hook the noble up with fucking dust? Is that the actual thing here? I think it is. The noble wanted dust the entire time. Dust, I don't think you realize what's going on. He's thinking that he dust was like a escort for royal nobles for all this time. He's basically like, I'm used to this shit, right? That's what he's implying? Not really, but that's what the noble is hearing. Converted to what? Eris? Uh, Axis called. Axis? He's fine with it. Be it noble or peasants, you know, two men together, it's glad. Oh my goodness. Of course it's Axis. Of course it's fucking Aquas, you know, fucking cult members that's into shit like this, man. Hey. Nothing wrong if you like cross-dressing boys, man. But right now, it's just like the whole context of it is setting Aqua to seem bad, right? <laughs> Time to get your <laughs> cheeks clapped, Dust. <laughs> yeah. 
せめてダストの写真だけでもって。There goes his virginity. That bussy. Gaping. So, Wide. Okay, back to the main plot line. We're still doing that? Huh? Alderb's still doing that? Arranged marriage with an Alderb is still happening, huh? What's up? バニルもいろいろとぼかしてる気はするけどな。ランデスとなれば話は別だ。Everything. ダックですから事情を聞く必要がある。だろう。ダック。昔から心配かけるやつだ。ディーンからあの話を聞かされてしまってはしょうが。That's a roundabout way of saying. Come on, let's get our pal Darkness back. それじゃあアクア頼むよ。任せて。パワード。Versatile Entertainer。Can a buff? 最後の何？ゲーター社になるわ。本当に一人で行くのですか。全部好きでも、俺一人が行った方が確実だろう。しっかりね。行ってくれ。おかし。下の厨房で夜食でも作ってもらおうぜ。何か音がしたような気がし。ダクネスは。I feel like we're gonna end up walking in on her while she's in like laundry bed gear or something. してくれれば。部屋まで運ぶ後をつけられるのに無理があるか。インプレッションズ。エンターテイナースキルパッサブ。私の名前はノリスです。Where did the chin come from?How did. What?That's beyond an impression, dude! 私の名前はノリスです。It's working. まさかと思ってやってみて。泣いて !That's darkness's voice acting, right? That's darkness's voice acting right now. That was not Megumin, was it? That's darkness in a high pitched voice, right? Aka was very useful, yeah. Is he disguised as the lady? Notice. Now we follow the room. Notice, which is Kazuma. Probably wants to get saved. I know she does. What? It is him. She has that kind of fucking embarrassment. I think that girls having the you know, muscular abs or muscle definition is really sick, but some girls actually think that muscular definition is like unwoman-like and doesn't like it. No! Oh, the cute dress. Megu means cute dress. That was a little embarrassing. Yes, you couldn't fit into it. Oh, what is it, Norris? What else? You overcome with your physical longings on a daily basis, and you spend your night doing what? Physical longing on a daily basis. Okay. This must be a fantasy for Darkness, maybe. She probably wanted this to happen. Oh my god, a brute forcing me down in bed? Dude, your worst villain! I can't take a court to her fantasy. Is this the real Norris? Presentable. My play got a little intense. Physical longings at night. What do you do? Your play. Hmm. And then you would yell intruder during that play? What kind of fantasies are you living? Holy shit, Kazuma's entertainer buff is insane. The rumors are true! Oh, they're all blushing! Ah! Do I have to spell it out loud? Do I, do I have to spell it out loud about what the implication here, guys? You know, 
sometimes, you know, you're late at night and, you know, it's like physical longings and, you know, it's like, you know, sometimes it's, I don't know, you want to feel fulfilled and, you know, maybe, maybe a little bit of, I, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just saying, and, and, but to shell intruders after that, that's a wild fantasy. <laughs> this is wild. The guards did not have to fucking hear this. She's over. It's fucking over for her. All these dudes are so fucking happy. All these dudes, bro. Number two right here is so fucking happy. What's going on? This dude literally has his fucking tongue up. Look at this dude's fucking tongue right here. You see number three right over here? Not in the middle. Not this guy. This guy's happy as fuck. Number this guy? Bro has his fucking tongue up, bro. Holy shit. This guy's mouth looks like a butthole. Interesting. Even <laughs> apart! Uh, about that. You are- oh, oh, you enjoy that! You enjoy that! Oh my god! Albert, Albert, proclivities. I'm too much of a peasant to know your noble terms. She wants to get punished. Oh, it's a lie. That's crazy that we're at a point where we can offer a noble to repay her debt because of how fucking rich we are. Remember when we were in like minus like billions worth of fucking whatever the currency here is? I think Eris, right? That's crazy how loaded we are now. Shouldn't this turn you on because a filthy peasant is helping out a noble and it's so shameless and you get embarrassed by it, but that itself is the M? <sighs> oh, hand placement! <gasps> Have what? Have what? Are you saying, listen, if my first time is gonna get defiled, then I want you to. Oh. Oh. She gonna be pregnant, guys. Really? Bro, come on! Oh, that's why he placed the fucking hands in the stomach. I forgot about the shirt and abs and the embarrassment. You fucking had it in the bag. You fucking had it in the bag. But I feel like, I don't know, Cosmo, would you guys have actually wanted this to happen? It would have kind of made things messy. The comedy aspect of it, I don't know. I never thought that this would happen, but like a serious moment, some kind of shit. I don't know. He fumbled the bag, but it's on brand and it's what we expect for Konosubu. And I think it's better that way, to be honest. Shredded abs. Oh, the guards are coming back. <laughs> they want to look, but they definitely want to open now. Uh-oh. Great Earth. Sand? Oh, what was that? Great Earth? Wind breath? <laughs> it's slowly moving. It's slowly moving. Not suspicious at all. Dad? Oh, we walked into Dad's room. Oh. Are you inviting us in? Father? Are you, is, he, is he like the other noble? Does he like boys too? I mean, the bathrobe, you know, it's, 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 he seems ready. He, he seems, I don't think he's like that, but he seems ready. He gave us like his blessings to us, right? That's so good. Yeah, he does look very sick, right? That's like terminally ill? 
wholesome moments, a serious moment. Yeah, you got a better head down there too. That's an order from dad. Let's go. Mm. Oh, we're, oh, we're so fun. Wait, wait, wait. If he dies, why don't we just use Aqua to resurrect? Why does this death matter? People die all the fucking time during our fucking adventures, bro. And we just resurrect him as a comedic gag. I feel like... Let's see. We'll see it, right? Healing magic has no effect on illness. What's the illness here? There it is. That's the natural count. Well, let's kill him right now. Let's ki <laughs> let's kill him right now. Ho hear me out. Kill him right now. Resurrect him. Maybe it'll reset his vitality. I probably doesn't work like that. He'll probably still be deadly sick after we kill him, right? <laughs> There's really no other way, huh? Having a moment with your dad, man. This is a father's last dying wish. We need to take on darkness, man. Is this the actual real ship? It's been kind of set up since like season two and maybe even season one too. But like in season two, straight up, when we like kind of lied to dad about darkness being pregnant, that was a funny moment. And he was so ready to give us their blessings. So <sighs> Princess Iris, I'm sorry. You have to wait like 10 years anyways. Fuck it. We go with darkness right now. I <laughs> <laughs> don't want to. <laughs> the cards, the cards. They're like, wait, so do the magical toys exist? Wait, 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 what do you mean? Are, are, are you playing around at night? What, what do you mean? How do you mean? They will be relentless. Okay. Are actually just going out like this? A bad turn? Ah! <laughs> I thought it'd be a much more drastic, dramatic, you know, exit with the window shattering, but goddamn, this gotta be the saddest window exit. Very strong. I mean, they're nobles, man. He's having a seizure. You think this is funny? Megumi. Emperor Zell. <laughs> Did it hurt that much? And that's today's episode. Today's episode was a mix of... The first half was cracked with dust. The, the first half with dust? It just... Out of fucking nowhere. What is that plot twist? The noble one and the boy cross-dressing. Not, you know, Rin. And hey, if you're into that, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just... I didn't fucking realize what the fuck was going on until we were too deep. And no one else knew what was going on. And you know what else was deep? Dust pussy. Anyways, after that, what else happened? Darkness. Darkness, darkness, darkness. He's getting sold off to the Elder family because of a debt we owe, and we can't pay it off. And Darkness is saying, you know, if we get, I get replaced, someone else will suffer in my stead. So listen, I'm gonna do it myself. But the dad's giving us the blessings to just steal her and go away. I think that we have to do that. But unfortunately, at the end, we had a little bit of a falling out. He literally fell out the window and then off the gate, and it was funny. But I'm not too sure how this is gonna come to a resolution. Maybe we'll just come back, regardless of how this, you know, ended and save Darkness from their wedding. Maybe it's gonna be a grand wedding crash. I'll be excited for that kind of episode, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care. Last second of the video, there is nothing. Eh, what is this? You know what? All right, all right, all right. I'll read this part. This is kind of important. This is Verdia, general of the Devil King's army, riding on behalf of our organization, 
Miss Lalatina Dustin's Forge, congratulations on upcoming nuptial. During my lifetime, I often find myself at odds with your comrades, so I cannot pretend that we had what would be described as a cordial relationship. However, I am willing to put that aside for the occasion and offer my blessings. The coming union of these two young people, despite the spreading of the blessings literally causing me damage. Sorry, just a bit of an undead joke, get it? Regardless, it is my sincere hope that you two are able to start a happy family together. That about does it for a congratulatory letter, all right? Huh? Wait, she's not getting married to the kid from her party? That's what I'm saying too, Verdia. Anyways, that's it for me. Bye-bye.